Hello everyone and welcome to our video today where I'll show you how you can build a database like this in order for you to organize your notes and keep track of every single thing that you're reading. So a lot of people like to use Google Sheets or Excel, uh, but I have found that with Notion you can have um, an extremely organized template and not only can you store all your notes as you can see here for every research paper, but you can also um, have access to extra materials and your uh, detailed notes as well and you can add uh, videos um, images um, and, um, and resources that you might need so let's get started and start looking into the different columns that we have and then we will build the database together I will also leave you a template that you can just replicate and add to your notion page um, and then I will show you some of the extra features that you can use um, as part of your note-taking and literature review okay so to start off with um, as you can see here, this is my template. I've got um, several columns. The first one talks about the title of the paper. We've got the author in the year, the journal that it's been extracted from, the topic. And for topic, you can see that I've highlighted the different areas that would be focusing on um, in every single paper. The method, and this is important so that I can, once I choose a method for my study, I can then quickly find the, the relevant um, papers that have the similar method and I can quickly uh, go to them. And then the type of paper was an empirical study, uh, dissertation, proceedings, article, and so on. And then this is one of the most important areas, which is going to be the key insights. What have you um, derived from this study? What's important for you? Um, and what can you use in your literature review um, as you analyze the papers and draw from? And then I always like to put the theoretical framework. This is really important. It helps me structure my um, writing. So for example, um, if I'm talking about social presence theory, then I can quickly uh, look into all the studies that have social, social presence theory and then combine them together so I know exactly which one to refer to. And then key findings and results is always really important as well um, because then I can uh, extract the information, I critically analyze, I can see uh, where the shortcomings are and this leads us to the limitations and implications. Again, extremely useful so that I can find the gaps that I want to build on and then the link for the paper. Okay, so how do we create this database? If you haven't used Notion before, go to notion.so and sign in. And then the first thing that you need to do is go to create a new page. So if you can see here on the left-hand side where it says uh, plus sign and then new page, I'm gonna click on that and create a new page. And then you just give it the name of the literature review that you're focusing on. So in my case, I was focusing on digital games. Let's just call it something different. So we have a new page and we're gonna call it here. Uh, um, let's see, um, game-based learning in higher education, okay? And this will be the focused literature review for this section, okay? And then I'm going to select here from the um, add new, I'm going to add table because I want this to be a database. And then on the right-hand side here, I'm going to scroll down until I find new database. And then I'm going to click that. And you can already see that now I've started to have a table format and then you're going to start adding the uh, names of the uh, the columns that you want so i like to start off with the title of the paper so i'm going to add that here in the name and then underneath that you'll find a section that says edit property and this will give you um, the option to select the the type of text or numbers that you want usually it won't let you do that for the title so i'm just going to leave that exactly the same and go on to the next column Next column, I'm going to call that the author and and here. So we have in this next part here, we have the option to edit property. And this means basically what kind of um, input do I want it? Do I want it to just be text? Then I'll keep it that if I want it a number and or if I want it anything, I want to add a file, for example, or um, and you can choose any of these options. But for now, I'm just going to keep it as a text. For this column, I'm going to add all this one, the topic. OK, and one, I'm going to select the type as multi-select. And this just means that um, it will give me the option to 
to store in the, the different topics that I input. So the next time I'm adding them, um, I can just select one of them and I'll show you how we do that. So you'll see here, it's, it looks like a bulleted form. So for example, if I come to enter in the first one, um, a topic such as like say social presence, you'll see it will save it and store it. And now I've got it as an option. The one here we can add um, game-based learning. Okay, and then select that. And you can see that it's already selected it. And then what, what that does is that next time we wanna add one of these, we've already got it as an option and it's easy for us to select. The next column you can call that, um, let's say methods. Okay, and for the type as well, we can use multi-select because again, with methods, we will always have a repetition of similar methods. It could be uh, interviews, it could be a focus group, it could be a survey and so on. So it's good to have it as multi-select. Keep on adding the different items uh, depending on what you want. So for example, in the previous section, I showed you that I had the key insights, for example, and this is where you write your uh, main findings and uh, main ideas from from the paper and the type here I'm just going to keep that normal text and so on you keep on building your table until you have a detailed table and you can do this for every single subsection of your literature you can create a new page a new template for each section and that becomes really useful because then you have an organized set of information for every single poem. Now, the next thing I wanna show you, I'm gonna go back to the database that we already had. Um, and let me just show you how Notion is one step up above Google Sheets or Excel because of what you can do within that database as well. So for example, here I've got one of the papers where I put all my notes in, okay? Now, what I can do is I can have even more detailed notes. So if you go to the um, option here to open in a side panel, you'll find that every single entry can have a detailed page. And if we just uh, expand this page so you can see, uh, it will have all the information that we've inputted in the table, but also we can start to add even more specific information. So let me just take um, a step back so I can show you here. Yeah, what I've done here is I've created some templates where I can actually um, review each paper, um, especially the ones that I feel need extra review. So for example, in this My Critical Review template, I've added some key questions that will guide me. I might not do this for every single paper, but for the papers that I want to focus on, I will ask what is the problem or issue being addressed? Is the problem clearly stated? How have the topics been defined? Are there alternative definitions? What are the strengths and so on? What's the author's theoretical framework? Has the author evaluated the literature and so on? This is a template that I've created as guiding questions. If you want to create a template like that, all you need to do is go to new and then um, create a new template. And then let's say I, I called it critical review. So let's say critical questions. Okay. And then at the bottom here, you can just enter the questions that you want to focus on. So what um, are the research questions? Are the key findings relevant to my study? What are the future directions? So let's just have these questions um, as our guiding ones for now. Okay, and then I'm just going to go back and then you'll see that now I've got these critical questions saved here um, as a template. Okay, so let's say that I want to add more notes to uh, one of the papers, say this paper, I found that it's extremely useful and I want to have more information in the database. So I can do is select open and then I will get this detailed note taking page. And then you can choose either to start writing straight away, or you can choose, for example, one of the templates that you've created that has the preset questions that can guide you as you're working. So if you remember the ones that we have already written now, we've got the research questions, are the key findings relevant to my study, what are the future directions, I can use these and I can start answering them and putting my notes for that specific paper. So let me show you some other great features that we have in Notion. Suppose I have a detailed note page on this specific paper, and I've written some detailed information here about the questions, the guiding questions that I had. And I've come back to this maybe a year from uh, when I wrote it or uh, a while ago, and 
I, I don't really remember everything that I've written. Um, so what I could do is I could quickly highlight the entire section and then um, I can go to Ask AI and ask it to, for example, summarize this entire section for me and it will give me um, just a quick overview of, of what I've actually written, which is really great because sometimes you'll have pages and pages and you quickly want to remind yourself uh, of the main idea that you'd used in this section. You can have, uh, you have a lot of other uh, options of things that you can do. So for example, I can just insert that summary below if I wanted to. Um, and then I can just ask it, for example, to uh, make something shorter, make something longer, simplify the language, improve the writing. There's so many other options you can do. There's uh, also an option to uh, change the style of the writing. Uh, you can add videos, you can add images, say, for example, of something that a diagram that you want to add to supplement your notes. Uh, you can upload the actual file. So with Notion, about integrating a framework where you can keep your notes together with the database and I find that quite really quite useful. Okay, so for the final part of this video I'm just going to show you how you can integrate the blank database that I'm going to leave you um, in the description. You can set up your own you've just seen it's very simple to set up your own but in case you just want to get started straight away you can just duplicate the template that I have below. Just copy the um, link to the template and I'm just going to paste it in here to show you. It will take you to static Notion page. And then what you need to do is once the page shows up on your screen, you'll find this template here. You're going to go to duplicate. Make sure you're signed into your Notion account already, but just duplicate the page as soon as you go into it. And then what you'll find is that it will straight away import it into your actual Notion page or your Notion workspace. And you see it's duplicating it and now I've already got it in my workspace and I'm ready to go and start to fill it, and to fill it up and to organize your research papers for every single paper you've read. Um, you don't always have to fill in the columns but at least make a record of that paper even if you just record the title and the author and put in the link and then decide to read that later on. But the more you can get yourself into a system, the more helpful it is. So I hope this was useful again and hope to see you in the next video.